and welcome back to another DIY. The last DIY I did was the facial treatment slash leave-in mask and if you're curious to know what it looks like, it looks like that. You, I will link down in the description box of the video so you can go check it out. This time the DIY is BB cream. It's summer here in Australia and it's only like two days until Christmas but it'll be one day if I upload this on the 24th so fingers crossed that I don't um this is just a light BB cream and just looks like this and it's become like a semi nude semi mousse after a couple of hours so it's like that it's really nice lightweight and you can make this out of the products you have at home. So, like me, if you are having trouble finding your shade, so something like this, if you tried this but it's either too dark and not good for your complexion, or this one if it's too light, or this one, you feel that it will give you a nice tan but it actually didn't and it actually gave you a really dark complexion. You can just use the things you already have. So I'm going to show you how to make your very own BB cream. So the things you're going to need is an empty container. I just have this, have this one. Like the previous container I had for the facial treatment, I'll be using another one of these and it is empty if you're wondering. You'll be needing some facial moisturizers depending your skin type. Um, mine is oily, um, acne prone skin, but during the winter time I have dry and sensitive skin. So I guess you could say I'm a combination of some sort. But this one is the Nivea Deli Essentials Rich Moisturizing Day Cream for dry and sensitive skin and has SPF 30. Now say the scenario that your moisturizer did not have um, SPF in it. You can use a separate one which is sunscreen and this is just an everyday sunscreen lotion with SPF 50 and this one is also 4 hours of water resistant and it's also suitable for people who have sensitive skin. So this is one of them so you can use that. And then there is another facial moisturizer I'd like to use and it's the only one that hasn't done anything bad to me. Um, this is a thick one for um, winter but during the summertime I like to use this one it's a clean and clear essentials moisturizer and it came from like a pack so it had like um, a firming face wash and a toner but I don't use those because they've irritated my skin really badly so I'm be using some of this today then I have another moisturizer and this is the invite vitamin E cream and I use this um, during my facial routine, my daily routine. Then you'll need a primer, so I'm using the Australis Primer. This helped my makeup stay on for longer and it was great. I love this product. And last but not least, you're going to need a foundation that that is either one or two shades darker than your natural skin tone. But for me, um, Australis Pro, uh, the Australis um, liquid foundation that has SPF 15 in natural form is perfect for me. This is the Perfection Brush On Foundation and the only reason why, the reason why I'm using this one is because my previous Australia's Fresh and Flawless makeup in natural form in the pink packaging, unfortunately I ran out of it. I ran out of this one which I am really, really, really sad about so I cannot use this in this tutorial. But this one I can, so yeah, so that's that one. And now the supplies you'll be needing. Um, you don't really need a measuring spoon for this one, but I seem to have one. And this is just the tea, one teaspoon um, measuring spoon. Just that. I just like to measure things. It's really up to me. And then you'll be needing um, disposable chopsticks. I just snap. I just have this really long one here and I just snapped half of it off for another purpose because you'll see in a minute. Okay, so let's just get into it. So you'll want to get your container and just take the lid off. I'm just going to put it there. 
All right, I'm gonna put all my white products in. I'm not trying. I know that sounds so racist if you think about it in the wrong way, but it's really not. So I'm gonna put all the white products in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my measuring spoon, and then I'm going to take my primer. Just gonna scoop top. And I'm going to put this in equal parts, so I'm going to take it to the top. And I'm just going to pack that in. So that's in. And I do have music playing in the background, it's my laptop. Alright, then I'm going to put the clean and clear moisturizer. Again, I'm going to fill this to the top. Next, I'm going to be adding is the Everyday Sunscreen Lotion. Just going to put that in. going to fill it up again. My hand is like a little shaky because, well, I don't know. I actually have no idea why it's shaky for a bit. I don't know why it went shaky or something, but I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to put that in. You want to gently tap it in, otherwise you're going to make a mess. So you, you don't want that to happen. As you can see, I've already made a little mess, but that's okay. Just pick it up again and put it in. Alright, now I'm going to put in my Invite Vitamin E cream. Awesome. Alright, the last product we are going to put in is the Nivea. Um, Daily Essentials Day Cream. So I'm just going to put that in. And I'm going to take one of these little um, disposable um, chopsticks that I just snapped off and we're going to put that into the measuring spoon. I don't really have a lot of this product left, so that's why I'm scooping it out. It's gonna take a while. All right, that should be enough. I'm just changing the music. Just give me a sec. All right, so we have this right here. I'm gonna tap this in as well. Gently tap in, so we have that. Alright, so now we're going to use one of the ends to mix. And you just want to mix it in nicely. So I just bring it up and just want to mix it. And make sure it's nicely mixed well. It should look something like this. Alright, now we're going to put in the foundation, so let's just take the foundation, let's go for it. So for this one, I have to lift these two ends for it, and then I'm going to squeeze in the product. I'm just going to brush the excess off. So there you go. That is the liquid foundation. Right there. Just going to close the clasps of the foundation. And now I'm just going to scoop it down. Or you can just pour it in. Up to you. And then while pouring in the foundation, you can just start stirring away. Now what we're going to do is just get the rest of the product in. I will point out that the natural form in the pink packaging is a lot lighter 
than the one in the brush on um, color. So it's just a little different. So that's that. Set that aside and just mix. And just mix. You know. Awesome. So, should look something like this. Okay. Now, what you want to do is just get a tissue and just wipe the sides to make it look clean. it look nice and everything. Alright, now that we're done and you're done with that, you can put the top on. You can put the top on. Put a label in there and you're done. You can use it right away or you can leave it set aside for a couple of hours, maybe overnight for it to thicken up a bit. So I just have some left over here and I'm just going to show you the finished product here. So we got that. Awesome. So that's there. So it's going to spread it out. So that looks really nice, and when you blend it in, it looks really good. Yeah, should look something like that. Nice. It's really, really nice. Nice and hydrating, very moisturizing. And another tip you can add in a. Um, you can add in some concealer if you want more coverage um, BB cream. The whole point of this DIY is that you get to control what you can, what you put into your own very, your very own BB cream. Um, you can, you control what you want in it. You control how much of the product you want to make in it. You don't have to go out and buy like this Chi Chi one. That's like twenty three dollars. You don't have to go out and buy something that may not work for you. You get to do what you want to do in this one. So I'm really happy I made it. Um, I really do like this one the most. So I'll just show you. I'll just spread this out a little bit more this time. That one. I'll show you on my other hand. So it's right here. So it's like that. It's going to blend a bit. So it looks like that. Nice little sheer. It's really nice. My face is a little bit lighter than the rest of my arms and things because they're a little bit darker, so that's why. But yeah, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, you can make your very own BB cream with this recipe. I'm sure that a lot of other people have done it. Give this video a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to this channel for really other cool things that might happen um yeah so that is pretty much it comment below what you want to see next or what you want to happen next i'll be doing a review on one or two specific products so that's coming up very very soon also merry Christmas, merry christmas to all of you guys because i won't be filming on christmas day but i will be filming on boxing day hopefully so yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!